Hello and uh, welcome to third tutorial. Uh, this is how I add custom weapons to UMMRPG with my UMA add-on. How easily I'm using my FG weapon pack. It's uh, currently a third person off. You can get it for fourteen dollars, and it's really good. I imported, but uh, for the uh, tutorial sake, import. Yeah, I'll import again. <coughs> you know what? I'm not gonna import again. It's, it's gonna take a while, just because I'm currently rendering another video. And so, so this. As you can see, there is a folder here named My FG Weapon Pack. There are plenty of weapons here in the perfabs folder. There is axes, arrows, crossbows, daggers, mace. For the uh, tutorial's sake and the base uh, warrior model using one handed sword, I'm gonna go for swords. I'm gonna select one I like. and this one sword 25 so if I wanna want this sword 25 into my game I do two things first I'm gonna need to create an item for it in resources items I'm gonna duplicate the sun sword control D I'm gonna call it sword master or master sword and in the model prefab I'm gonna choose sword 25 and yeah as you can see the path uh, the path is now my if you paper pack prefab sword sword 25 it's uh, I really urge to uh, select a prefab. Uh, there is a right hand already set. You can set uh, right hand too. There is a scale applied. I'm gonna set this to default. I'm gonna uh, meddle with this later. So, secondly, uh, if I want to use this in my game, I'm gonna go for my add on UMRPG prefabs. Warrior in Warrior, there's a default items. I'm gonna set to seven, and element six is Master Sword. That's all I need to do. After that, I'm gonna uh, really get into these. And what is my these three? Properties. So server and play. I'm gonna delete this. Create a new warrior here. And as you can see, I have a master sword right here and a shield. So as you can see, there is a bit of scale and uh, position here. Rotation is nice but the uh, scale and position is a bit off so i'm going to i'm going to first start with shield this is so big go for sun shield make it 0.6 so it can yeah quite nice i'm going to move to master sword I'm gonna up the scale a bit, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. You don't have to stop playing, stop and start playing, just have to uh, unequip and equip the item. So, if we wanna do uh, a little bit uh, the uh, offset the weapon, 
I'm gonna apply offset in I think I'm gonna find the direction first. Yeah, hex direction and minus point one. Uh, minus point one is a bit much. Minus zero zero eight. Zero zero seven. I think five. Mm, no, minus zero zero eight was right. Yeah, I need to change the offset direction here. Minus into Z here. Uh, a bit more. Actually, yep, my character is holding on that sword pretty nicely. So the animation is working. As you can see, I add, I easily add the sword to my game. For the uh, argument's sake, let's add a shield too. So. Duplicate the sun shield, call it master shield, uh, call it right hand here. Instead of sun shield, I'm going to choose a shield from my downloaded assets. This one looks a sun shield. <laughs> yep. And Keep this and play. Oh no, yeah, I need to add that shield to my inventory, my character's inventory. So I need eight slot and call it master shield. So we're gonna play, create another warrior, and if I do this. As you can see, there is my shield and there is my sword. My shield is a bit off of its scale, so go for master shield and scale it up. And voila! I have currently have a master sword and master shield. As you can see, master sword and master shield and they are both working with UMA characters and animations next one, next version, next tutorial I'm gonna uh, show you how to add your animations to UMA controller see you around